Hi. Hi. Welcome to World News. Thank you. What's World News? <laughs> How are you, Andrea? I'm great. How are you, Danny? I'm, I'm wonderful. It's been a while for it World has. News. It has. Yeah. So we must, we must make a show. We must. And so the show. What do we do on World News? <laughs> we talk about the world. Ah, well, that makes sense. Yeah. That's crystal course. clear to me now. <laughs> it's crystal clear. So what has been going on since our last World News? I think quite a lot. A lot of. Quite, quite, quite a lot. Some things haven't stopped, which we'd like them to stop, and new things have started, and maybe we're going to see what else is to come. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe we'll use that great big old web telescope that they have up in space now that is now in position, and they're just doing some final tests. Maybe we could go up there and take a peek and look at some black holes and see what's I in there. I would love to go through and see what they see in those telescopes. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, maybe we could just hijack it and just point it in a different direction for a little bit. We yes. can go in there with, with our psychic abilities. I think that sounds like a good idea. Do you think they'll let us in? We're not gonna, we're not gonna oh, tell. We're, we're gonna sneak in. Yes, yes. Yeah. So what's this black hole thing that they're staring at? What do you, what do you got? Yeah. Well, so, so I, I don't think they're looking at the black hole, though. So oh. there, there were this, um, the, the black hole image that just came out, I think last week, is the sharpest, clearest image of a black hole to date. And it's huge. It's massive. It's 37 million, billion light years away. So even though this black hole is so massive and it sucks everything in it and they're getting um, um, insights as to lights flying in and around and mm. doing crazy things in, in this black hole space, they said it's, um, oh my gosh, I wrote this down and I can't remember. How much bigger than the sun? Did you remember? Um, you said it, it was billions of crazy. times the mass of our sun. So that is enormous. Four million times the mass of our sun. Sagittarius wow. A, that's the name of this black hole. I don't know why they didn't call it black hole <laughs> A. A. Maybe anyway. is it in, is it in the sign of Sagittarius? Maybe in the sky. Probably, probably, yeah. Yeah. probably. Um, so, so um, they took. I think don't 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 hate me if I miss a number or two. I think they took eleven telescopes all around the world. So this was a world collaboration. Imagine that the Imagine world that. collaborate. For Isn't one nice? common book. So they took all these telescopes and pointed them at this one section in space. And they put all the images together and then they photoshopped it. <laughs> yes. And just showed us what they want to show us. <laughs> put, put things in it like, you know, like, I don't know, like an alley corn in it. Ooh, magical. Um, so Let's look at what is in yeah. this black hole. And I think I, I just want to read a 411 on it. And then if you have some other questions that you want to dig into. The Sagittarius A. The Sagittarius A. What? Sagittarius. What's the 411? What is the 411? Sagittarius A. Oh. Oh, dear me. Interesting. Ooh. 
Well, I certainly got dark cards on this one. I literally got the black card. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right, what are you getting? It's You're making... not playing with your pendulum, are you? This is yes, a I am. <laughs> this is a tarot reading. I use it too. I have cards. <laughs> So I, well, I'll show you. Bad guy, black card, hate. Wow. So I'm like, what is that? So I asked, was it made by, you know, like the <clears throat> negative one? No, but it's, um, um, oh, and I just had it. It's like negative energy. It's negative, not negative energy, like, like I'm in a bad mood, negative energy. It's it's, it's the opposite. A, it's positive, negative, like in a battery it's like, type. It's like the opposite of life. Like the positive energy creates life and this negative energy, I guess, can erase it. Very weird. Yeah. Can, can, I, can I share you my cards without the pendulum? <clears throat> hey. Because mine are lighter. <laughs> Mine are lighter. Well, and it, you know, we don't want it coming towards our home. We want to avert this in the future, right? We don't want it. We don't <laughs> want it heading in our direction. Whoa. Okay. What do you have? Well, it's 37 what, million light years away. So they say it's not going to come to us, which they don't know really what the hell they're talking about because <laughs> it's very muddy, the information. Mm -hmm. So I did just a 411. What do we know? What do we need to know on this black hole? It's, it's pretty muddy. However, um, <clears throat> I'm getting the, the green card. Is this green? Yeah, it's a good card. Yeah. Healing, right? So this is it's, it's being challenged with covered, this muddiness is being covered by a healing energy. Although at the base of the reading, I just, I pulled six, there's some kind of unknown issue going yes. on with it. Obviously yeah. it's a black hole. We're learning more and more about this or when they say it's not coming near us, maybe it's coming to us really, really fast, but that's in the past as it relates. And then I got some new information that's going to be blooming and coming out. And I got the, the mm. king card on it, the, the crown, the, it, it's, and when I pulled this, I went, is this the God force that is bringing forth some new, new growth to heal our heart space. I mean, like if, if new awareness, hole, yeah. What's that? Like new awareness of this thing, this force. So we understand the universe better. Well, let's ask that. I think so. That's what I'm kind of getting that <clears throat> it's going to, it's going to um, kind of unite the world that they're, they're, you know, that this is something that we have to take seriously. Otherwise, we're going to get sucked into this negative, negative space or, and it's not the world, but I mean, it could be. If it's, how big? Four million times the mass of our sun. Can you imagine the gravitational pull on that? It'd be enormous. Huge. So again, so, world leaders and space. So world leaders coming together. And as you already said, those telescopes from all over the world came together to look at this. So this must be something they're studying. 
and want to be aware of bullseye. So they're studying this. I don't think we know what it is yet. Surprise. Hmm. So that would be a way for us to come together. Countries mm -hmm. to come together to study it. So I asked, I asked if the information coming out of the black hole, out of our uh, studying this, is going to um, is going to help with our understanding of the ascension in truth and um, just raising the vibration in the planet. I got the moon card, which is, which to me, it's, it is illumination, um, but it's, it's a different kind of illumination. It's without color. It's pretty stark. So this black hole is kind of, kind of reveal the landscape in black and white, not in color. So I got that. Um, when this information comes out, we all need to start drinking heavily <laughs> because it's going to be, we're skewered or screwed the way we're treating our planet. And I'm like, really? Yes, we are guilty of that. Our planet is out of balance. Yep. Um, we don't understand what this, this is meaning right now because yes. well that makes it really clear <laughs> it means we don't know what it is yeah we still yeah. don't know what it is but it is the question was are we going to get some information from this to raise the level of consciousness in the planet i did get a yes card with the moon it's going to make it into black and white and show us how we are out of balance ah I do think this is some type of gift of information that we need to deduce. Yes. To help us understand. Well, yeah. let's see. Does, so let's ask, do our um, ET friends, are they studying it as well? Or do they know what it is? Or do they have any info for us? Oh, do our um, ET friends. ET friends. Okay, Sagittarius A. Do they not? Friends, no. Do our Sagittarius friends, I mean, our galactic friends, know about these black friends? I got take charge. You've got this. Enjoy the ride. So I think, yes, this is all part of our learning and understanding more about the universe. They're telling us to study it. Enjoy the ride because we're about to learn a bunch of new stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we certainly are. We certainly are. Hmm. So our ET friends, do they know what is going on with a black hole? Oh, there they are. There they are. And look, they have a lilac card. Oh. So why are we asking the cards? Why don't we just ask you? Well, that's the third eye and you better believe they know about it. Because you are a very, you're, you're a little clouded. <laughs> with this black Stormy. hole. <laughs> there's something there's something you're not sharing with us that you will because this document that is redacted is coming to light. Wasn't that whole US UFO congressional hearing? I mean, I didn't watch it. I was just reading some of it, but it just I'm going, "Oh, you guys aren't you guys aren't really telling us the truth at all." Yeah, no, I didn't watch it, but redacted. 
at least they're pretending to talk about it. <laughs> right. So this whole alien, I know, right? So this whole alien studying the black hole thing, it's all about sky um, and grounding and coming together in a healing energy. And again, I got... They're going to show us this in black and white. It's going to come out as this is it, black hole, white hole. That sounded really weird. But anyway. <laughs> I can't wait for us to find out what it really is and what yeah. that really is the universe. Yeah. So do you want to see? So they talk, they started talking about it. The government, United States government. Should we see what our friends, ET friends, think about? What do other beings think about it being discussed now? Yes. Yeah. Some, somewhat openly. Yes. Let's look at that. So the fact that the United States government has talked is talking about and identifying UFOs and not having an explanation for them. How do extraterrestrials feel about that? ETs feel about this particular congressional hearing. So I'm just going to pull three cards. When I was shuffling them before I flip them over, I, I just I just got a, a, a sense that they're not really happy with the information that came out, but they're happy that it's starting. But there is so much that we haven't really yeah. um, become aware of that. There's certain of us that know what's going on and other part, the general population, maybe the non-believers, they're not getting it. They're not getting the true information. Not yet. Mm -hmm. So I got one card I got was the Palladians. So that's unconditional love, excitement, and laughter. So that is, that is joy that we are starting to talk about it openly because that's what they're waiting for, right? Right. And then reflection of your soul is the art of forgiving. So I'm going to go by the image as well as they are watching over us. And now that we are reflecting on these things, admitting we don't know what's in the sky is all part of us. Um, it's all part of us growing mm -hmm. and looking for the right answers. I just dropped some alien cards. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. And what did you get? Well, they can't be happy about that, but you drop in alien cards. They so I'm, me I'm using um, extraterrestrial universe oracle. Me too. By some some guy. Oh, is that is that who you just dropped? This one. Yeah, I dropped some. Sorry, Scott. <laughs> He's going to be so pissed at you. Stop and I'm picking them up with my toes. I'm not dropping any of your cards. So these cards were made by Scott Allen. Um, I got... Scott Allen, Spiritual Essence. Yes. So I got... Um, and I like these cards because they're about... They're, they're more um, feeling cards. They're more... For me, anyway. Um, he probably can use them a lot differently than I can. But what are the alien... What are the, the galactic beings, our friends, thinking about this <clears throat> i got crystal healing and there's a lot that goes into this healing um it's a start but there's still a lot of pain that you have to let go of forgive in human terms um i also got unconditional love so they're not unconditional yeah. love yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they're they're not like 
vengeful going, oh, you guys, you know, you, you experimented on us. You've got bodies on, in Area 54 in Roswell or wherever they have them and in Kansas. Um, they're not happy about it. They, there is some healing that needs to be done on both sides, but that unconditional love. And we just need to trust the timing. Yeah. Have a little patience. And so they're kind of getting that. Let's just see where this goes. We're going to give you time to let this come out because what if it just came out way, way, way too fast? What would we all do? And we are children compared to them because they're far more. Speak for yourself. <laughs> they understand things far more than we do. So they're letting us come to yeah. the realization on right. our own. Yes. Hmm. Mm. All right. So we haven't talked about world news. We're talking about other worldly news. We're talking about space news. <laughs> Outer space news. Maybe we need to change the, the program title. Maybe we All do. right. Let's we do. I said maybe we do. I maybe don't know. we do. Okay. Um, let's get back, let's get back to, to Earth, sort of, maybe, not really, let's stay out there a little bit. Um, all this crap that's going on in, in the world, so there is, um, I was looking at the war in Ukraine with Russia and, um, in Ukraine, um, it's got the whole world like standing up and saying that type of aggression is wrong but on a on a planetary um economic sense it's disrupting everything so the ukraine in, uh, exports a a ton a lot of steel i was going to say a ton of steel that's funny um they also, between Russia and Ukraine, export 28% of the nitrogen fertilizer in the world. That's a lot. In the world. I was looking at Sri Lanka. They're having, they were in the news today. They defaulted on their, on their debt. And when I looked at them, I mean, they're just, a, they're a mess. And, and I'm going, I don't even know where Sri Lanka is. It's an island on the south tip of India. And it used to be, I mean, it's steeped in ancient history. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. A Buddhist, Hindus, um, and just way, 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 way back. So they are um, in, in, I think it was 2014, they decided to turn the island into an organic island, no mm -hmm. fertilizer, no fertilizer. And they, they have, a, 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 so that, that was a big problem with them defaulting today because now there may not be enough food. I mean, everything is just shifting. So um, even though that intention was right, it, it's having devastating effects down in Sri Lanka. And they, they have other things going on there too. But is all of this, this strife and ugliness that we are seeing, all this um, disrupting the old world system, mm. is this actually good for us in the level of our ascension? I like that question. So we're still not in world news, but kind of. Well, yeah, because well, the world is changing, as is world news. <laughs> and it, yeah, the, the old ways, the old establishment, we know that that's changing in politics, but also on how we run the world, fertilizer, mining, whatever, coal, I don't know, whatever these things are that we're doing. Yeah are probably going to be revisited in quite 
quite dramatically. Right. Wow. And I keep flashing back to the moon card that I got when we were looking at that black hole. It's going to show us in stark contrast in black and white, um, yeah. the good and the bad and the positive and the negative. Ooh, ooh, going back to the black yeah. hole, positive, negative. Yes. Of um, what we are doing to the planet. And we can be putting, maybe we're putting our planet into a black hole maybe it's us doing that it might be a like a mirror a reflection like if you keep going this way you'll turn into nothing you'll destroy yourselves i just i keep seeing that superman movie where they had a mirror and space yeah. spinning around that was great and there were, it was these uh that's where they they had the, the jail prisoners. Of, yeah the yeah prisoners. Who was the main guy? I want to say Khan, but that's Star Trek. Um, oh, 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 I just had it. <sighs> Christopher Reeve as Superman is the best Superman in my books. I love him as Superman. Um, oh, Oz, Goz, Odd, Odd, oh. what? It's something like that. And that yeah. guy plays that Terrence, Terrence Stamp plays the main guy. Ah, anyways, <laughs> can't remember. <laughs> Someone tell me in the comments. Oh, oh, you know they will. Yes. You no, know they will. Oh it's my like god. Gauze or Oz or something. Zod. Is it Zod? Zod. Zod. It's Zod. Yeah. It's Zod. There you go. Okay. So are all these horrible things going on in the planet as so often? As, as I feel them, as a sensitive human being. Now, some of these Republicans, and I shouldn't say Republicans, that was bad on some, me. Some people. Some people are not that sensitive and just cut and dry and whatever, and they're not sensing this at all. Well, but they're not as, going long game, they're going immediate, right? How much money can term. I get today? Yeah. Uh, and not about what matters to the earth right. generations from now. Right. So, is all of this old world economic system, um, production system, just the old world system, is that changing in a positive way due to all this stuff? That Love we're this question. With? Are we witnessing the change? And I know we are. I mean, instinctively, I know we are. And, and so often we talk about it, but it's good to get a little bit of validation from, from the cards. <laughs> Trust the change. So our other friends here who live in the universe are saying, trust this change that we're, that we are upon. I love those are the first three cards. Can you be a little more clear? <laughs> it's going to be a little bit bitter. It's oh. not going to be super easy for us because, <laughs> but it's what needs to happen. It's the truth. I love this. And we will come together and we will understand what to believe in the future. Yeah. I love it. Wow. I love it. So even our friends, because I mean, we share the same space, the universe. Of course, they want us to. I'm yeah. sure what we do affects them on some level. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I read it a little, a little differently. I, I just thought of um, us being a better planet, just ascending without the help of ETs. Um, well, I think which they're sure is, watching us. Which, yeah, I mean, we're not in this alone. No. So certainly we'll take any help. Well, I will, <laughs> definitely. Any help I can get. Um, but are we changing, is all this, are we witnessing a change for the better? I got the wish card. Okay. So- it, it again it goes back to keeping our intentions high 
not falling into the depths of, you know, negative black hole, negative energy. And I don't want to say the black hole is negative energy in a bad way, because it's just, it's because a lesson. this, this it's negative energy that, that we're experiencing is bringing us positive energy. So we're taking the lemon and making lemonade. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we are rebalancing ourselves. So we have the wish card and it's being challenged, covered by rebalancing ourselves. We're looking towards the future and the landscape is a little barren right now, but we are looking towards the future with this knave of wands in the past, we have the Knave of um, Cups, which is getting information from sources that we may not expect, like fish mm. coming out of a cup. Why would we listen to fish coming out of a cup? Well, I don't know. At the top of the reading is the world order, is the government the higher, the, and it, to me, this is the, the current, um, what did I say, old world order. It's not the new world. This, is, this guy's been there a long time. This is new energy. This is old energy. And what they're doing is they're putting it on its head and taking another look at it from a different yes. point of view. Although it is suspension. St I mean, still, we feel like, oh my gosh, when is this going to shift? When is it going to change? Well, we're turning we, it on its head. We need to change the perspective. True. It's not bad. These things are happening. I mean, they feel awful, but it's for the better. In down the road. If right. you look at it that way, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, and it's... But when you, when you're in the middle of loss, it's doesn't feel good. Impossible at all. to look down to the future because you're just dealing with the loss. Yeah. And, um, so we, uh, I know you and, and I don't want to minimize the loss, but we're just trying to bring out that there is going to be some positive in this. Yeah, we're trying to see the bigger longer picture <clears throat> right yeah right right Whew. speaking of fish yes do you like sardine sandwiches um uh, no i don't eat meat or fish or any you don't animal. i don't no eat animal. any animal nothing with a face nothing with a family Have you ever not, swam in a school of sardines? I have I have swam with the fishes, as they say, in a good way. <laughs> and you survived. And I survived. I love swimming. I love swimming in the lakes. I love swimming in the oceans. Nothing better than that. So we've been talking about, you know, outer space, not our world. Can we talk about our world inner space? Yes, please. Yes, please. So um, I'm a big underwater guy. I love being underwater. And there is a section of the planet in our oceans that is not being discovered. Scuba divers will discover from zero to about 250 plus or minus, depending on the gas mixture that you have in a scuba tank, open mm -hmm. circuit where you blow bubbles into the water and it goes up to the surface. Rebreathers can go a little deeper where it's closed circuit, no bubbles, silent diving, very cool. And they'll go to about 300 maybe, maybe, Maybe deeper, it depends if, how well you're trained. The submersibles 
start, because they're so expensive, start about 600 feet and go deeper to 14,000 and all that. There's a section of the ocean that is not being looked at and it's called the twilight zone. So can we because go there? Let's go there. Let's see. I love it. What now? What deck should I have? What deck should I use? So there's Middle Earth, and now you're saying there's Middle Ocean. Middle Ocean, yeah. I like it. This sort yeah. of unknown or unexplored, right? Section. Now, yeah, and. To be honest, we know nothing about the ocean. Nothing. Great. We think we know something. There is so much more. It's it's like it's like our own personal black hole. Because we're not like, studying it. it we're, not st we're not looking at it. We're not studying it. We're not respecting it. We're not treating it well. There's we're just, oh, it's it's the ocean. Let's just put all our crap in it. So we're turning it into a black hole. Okay. Hmm. I'm getting so a call. We want to see what is in this sort of area. Yeah, just kind of, just kind of poke around in it and and see. Go for a little swim. Yeah, just go for a little swim and see what we get. And how far down on. is it? How far down? Uh, let's go. Let's let's just take a really narrow range yeah. of it, and let's go from three hundred to six hundred feet. Okay. In this. In the oceans. Six hundred feet below surface. Hundred feet in the ocean. I have to use two decks because there is so much information. Yeah. I can't just use one deck. I'm hearing. All right, between 300 and 600 feet in the ocean. Breathe slow, no fast movements. <laughs> no splashing. No splashing. Did you just make a noise? <laughs> I did. I did. What does that mean though? What does that mean? Wow. What does, okay. No, I got it. I got it. I figured it out. I know. I don't know what that one means. So the first card I got, I love. It's here and now. So there's the past and the future. So we are right now supposed to explore or understand this part of the ocean the message is coming forward and then the second card is call is that a call for us to explore is that a call for Na mother nature or the angels for us to look at this area because as you say we've turned our back we haven't explored it enough what have you got? I, so that's just like the energy right now is very much for us to listen right. to that area or pay attention to that part of the planet. Okay. Um, it's, it's interesting because the two cards, the first card I pulled were my contact cards. And I said, no, it's too, I need more information before I pull the contact cards. So I used your cards. <laughs> I also got that there's a little um, it, it's there's a little bit of unknown happening there. Um, it's it, it could be that um, the information that we're going to get from that section of planet is gonna be huge yeah. and they're trying to hide it. Maybe there are aliens there in that level. I mean, you look at the creatures in the ocean, 
you look at, at the seahorses, the leafy um, sea dragons, um, sea urchins. It, I mean, the barnacles feeding, it it's, blows your mind. Yeah. Right. James Cameron. I mean, he does such a good job at creating that show us what's underwater um, with jellyfish lighting up and turning into angels in the deep. Um, it, it's, it's phenomenal. So there is so much to learn, but it's, it's being hidden by the cloud of getting drunk. At that depth, you have to really watch that you don't get too drunk on nitrogen narcosis, even though you would have your gases mixed. So you got to be really careful about not getting too crazy with our discoveries here. We are going to get some information out of this. Awesome. And it's going to show that we are way out of balance. And then the last card I got was no. And I went, well, what? Yeah, what's that for? What? Yeah, what is that for? And I pulled my ET cards out and I got Mr. Curly Man, <laughs> which, which is a trust card. So let me just pull two cards on... Um, you think this. they don't trust us enough yet to know what's there? Ooh, yes. I got um, in the stars, I got supernova, which is explosive change. Big energy, yeah. Right, and then in the crop circles, again, I got, hang on one second, earth goddess so no i didn't get any aliens coming out of these cards but the information i got is they're not trusting us enough to um we can't handle the big change and this is kind of where this whole um podcast is going is that we're not ready to handle the big changes that are coming we're taking a little little steps and that's what that is but but I trust in mr also, curly man i trust mr curly man i mean look at him yeah look at him i think this is part of um these changes are happening to help usher us in the right direction yeah and we are waking up um slowly but it's difficult yeah it's difficult so so then can i ask where are we collectively on the ascension scale? So some of us, as we know, are a little bit more enlightened than others, but collectively, right. are we on schedule? Okay. Are, are we behind? Like what's... what's Feels uh, like it, doesn't it? I mean, it, it's just like... Yes. Well, can, I, can I go back to Mr. Curly Man? <laughs> because yeah. that, we need to keep our sense of humor. We need to yeah. laugh. We need to keep a lighter vibration like this. 100%. So I know you are not laughing at Mr. Curly Man, but he, he accepts, even if you were, he takes it because that's what kind of guy he is. Yeah, he's take a fun guy. So when he's we're going- guy, but a fun guy. Yeah, when we're going to the Ascension scale, yeah. there is a scale um, that- was first introduced to me through Pam Gregory. She's taken that down. Nancy Jean, you and I did a pendulum video on it where we had the Ascension scale yeah. and we put it on a pendulum uh, dowsing chart. Yeah. Um, and th that we can test our... Um, minute by minute scale where we are um, after we eat food where are we in this level of consciousness how's it making us feel how is it after um, you've talked to someone what's your energy field if you right when you come home from work you can see are you way low or up right. high? yeah after you read on politics 
or after you read on spiritual higher right. energy things. And it's crazy how low it can go after you read on politics. <laughs> Just saying. All right. Where? So, yeah, human, the human collective uh, currently on earth. Where are we on the ascension schedule? I, I need to grab another, I need to grab this attack. Human collective currency. Ha 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 ha. Hmm. Oh, my neck is so. You never want really to get a tight neck. I do. Spine or whatever. I think I slept. <laughs> a funny way. Funny, not ha ha, funny, ouch. Yeah, funny like ouch. So I pulled one card from my timing deck. Um, not, I didn't make the deck, it's a deck I own. <laughs> and the ants, the card is so amazing. Where are we on the ascension schedule? It's not too late. Uh. So to me, we are behind feels like we're a bit behind but it's not too late we still have a chance we still have a chance to bloom to grow to become enlightened to get out of this wasteland this dry desert of negativity and bloom and make a luscious beautiful life for all of us how do you like that interpretation i like it thank you you're welcome <laughs> and that's I'm what it feels like uh, ask that question again. Let me see. Let me. Danny. Yes. Where are we? The no, human... no. I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> go back to how'd you like that interpretation? Oh, sorry. How do you like that interpretation? Oh, I thought it sucked. <laughs> I take that as a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't feel good when I said that. I took your lemon and I made lemonade. <laughs> good, because I didn't feel good about it. Where are we in the evolution of our As of enlightenment? Our yeah. In our enlightenment. And it's very similar to what you just pulled. Caution. And I can't help but think of when I said your interpretation sucked. I was skating on such thin ice there. Caution. Uh, but we're treading slowly. We're treading too carefully. We got to jump true. in, everyone collectively. Yeah. yeah. And we have to jump in with oh. love. Danny. No wonder I felt bad about saying that. No wonder you and, pulled that card. You're a good boy. <laughs> and to go along. <laughs> And to go along with your card, it's not no. too late. Movement. Healing energy green. You got love and movement. The love movement. Oh. The love movement. The love movement. That's awesome. Wow. Awesome. 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 Case closed. <laughs> we did it. Done. it's not too late the love movement it's not too late we can change the vibration we can change we're not it's not too late we can still do it everybody oh i feel good i am totally pumped for today now awesome awesome let's read on trump <laughs> it's okay we can read on him because you want to know why oh hell no <laughs> it's not too late there's a love movement happening yes yes you understand no, i do i get it yeah, I'm ending the show on that. That was yeah. I, I I may need to delete that last. Let's. Oh no, it's on. okay because it's a reminder that we are witnessing unpleasantries. However, it's galvanizing us even further 
Yes. It's the caution card. Right? There's still negativity out there. We have to ascend and we have the love movement. The love card. The love card. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, silly. It wasn't world news. It was, it was, it was us. Outer worldly and worldly. Yeah. It was yeah. universal news. I don't yeah. know. We are, we are changing. We are evolving world news. And we'll just see where we end up. Where it goes. And I love the final message. It's not oh. too late for the love movement. I mean, if that doesn't make love you, I, if that doesn't just make you feel great. Yeah. yeah. I, feel I know. Great. I know. Flips me back to the 60s. Hey, man. <laughs> Peace, bro. All right. <laughs> Andrea, I'm going to end on this. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs>